Makeup and Cinny from Sister, Sister Saving Cindy You Sense and welcome back Sense Savers. Welcome Saver. back guys. Yo. Today is Wednesday. Wow Wednesday. Wow, wow or wow. wow. Whatever you want to call Whatever it. Whatever you call it. Um, today we're going to go through some of the rebate apps guys yes. and let you know what's up. Yeah we're just mm -hmm. touching on Ibotta, Shopkick, Swag Bizzle. A little bit of Tida. And a little, bit of, a little bit of tata. And that's really it. We're just going to okay. try to give, get you the basics of mm -hmm. how to redeem an offer, what you do in store, mm -hmm. what you do out of store, how to contact customer service or submit a request if you need to. That's it. Just the basics. Okay. Okay. Now, y'all can leave all kind of questions you want underneath that tab down there. Please okay? leave them in this, and in we, the, under this video. We'll get to them when we can, guys. Yes. Or if okay. anyone knows the answers to these questions and you Please have done this for them. This is why we a whole feel community. Feel welcome. We all sisters. We all trying to save these sisters. Sister and brothers saving these sins. Okay? That's what I'm saying. All right, so y'all. So, we're going to get started. We hope that you enjoy. Mm -hmm. Be patient because there's a lot of talking. Let's get in it. Let's do this. Was it ready? Okay, I'm. Am I ready now? You're ready now. Okay, guys. So we're in the Shop Kick app. So the thing you need to understand is, is that we have the Scan Kicks and the Buy Kicks. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we always tell you, go ahead and use your Scan Scan in store. Yes. A lot of people don't include that, but we include it because you're right there. Scan it. Just scan why it. not? Scan it in. Okay, and then your Kicks, and that's after you submit your receipt. Yes. So the thing you need to um, mention is when you want to calculate the number of kicks. In the offer, you need to do the scan and kick. So I would do 320 on this offer. Yes. You multiply it by what's in it? Point zero zero four, guys. Point four, yeah, I just do point four. I, we typically do point four. Yeah, point four. But it will not put the dot in there. So if you don't know where to put your decimal spots, do point zero zero four. Oh, if well, you I know where do to put point your four, decimal, so I did not notice. Yes, <laughs> if you don't know how to put put your decimal, do point zero zero four. It'll put the decimal in there for yeah, you. If not, round it up. That's yes. why we learn in school, y'all. Yes. Okay. So that's how that this works. I just thought about something we need to tell y'all, but I didn't literally forgot that fast why did i how did i forget that point zero zero four that's how you get your total oh yeah. bundles let's talk about bundles because this is yes, something that tamika confusing. asked me yeah, about a I, lot as well i get confused with bundles so here's a good one okay so this is the um what is this old, Bundle, spice. old spice okay mm -hmm. so this is 1050 kicks so 1050 so we're going to go into this this is how we calculate our bundle so when i look at this i calculate the amount of it so this is what you're getting for the bonus which is your bundle bonus is 250 bonus kicks right because the values of these are 400 400 so if you were to just buy these separately or buy one you only get 415 if you buy them together you get the bonus kicks okay. so how yeah. we calculate this is you add your 800 plus your bonus kicks, which is 250. That's 1050. Yeah. And then if you want to add your scans in, you have to break those off. Those are not included in your bundles. That's mm -hmm. an extra 30. So altogether, this would be 1,080 shop kicks. That's what you need to calculate and multiply that yeah. times 0 .004 or 0 .4, whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah. That is how you figure out bundles because people be getting confused yeah so those are the biggest things that you need to know when it comes to shopkick and then we'll also show you guys next how you can um submit a ticket so we'll do that next okay. we're back so this is how you're going to submit a request if you do not get the correct amount of shop kicks yeah okay? on your kick on mm -hmm. your kicks so you can see that we're still under walmart so we're going to go out of walmart you click on your little person right here in the corner. Little person. Yes. So now we under my profile. Y'all seeing all my stuff. Okay. So <laughs> what's the next thing? Questions and support. That's it. Click on questions and support. Let me tell you how simple this is. What you do, Tamika? You scroll all the way down, y'all. Mm, all, all the way, way down. down. Let, Go on all the way down to where it's safe. I didn't went past Hold it. on. Bam. Email us. Okay, click on email us, guys, and then at this point, you're just submitting your request. You fill in all the details. Do you see all this? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you about this ad file. This this right here is what's going to keep you getting your coins is the ad file, y'all. So you need to take your screenshots. So let's say you don't, okay, you have an issue. Take a screenshot of yeah, what you're supposed always to get do. and take a screenshot of what you got. Mm -hmm. added to this bad boy right here okay mm -hmm. i've never had an issue with them not approving my request when i submit a request and what's going to happen is it's going to send you an email and you'll get an email saying that hey we received your request check your email there you go you need to check your email mm -hmm. and then go from there but it's just that simple guys okay all right He's up. and then we're going to scan the barcode on shopkit i'm just going to lay this right here so here is the shop kick offer for the crystal light in the country time. So we're just going to click on that and then we're going to click on scan and then we're going to scan the barcode. As you can see, it'll give me that 20 kicks. So now I'm just going to go to the register, make this purchase and then show you how to submit your receipt 
to Shopkick. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So I'm out of the store. Here's my receipt. I just picked up all of my items. Guys, I had to get them to reprint the receipt because it was just so fuzzy the first time. I was like, it's probably not going to take. So this is how you submit your receipt for Shopkick. Um, so you go into your Shopkick app. We're already under Walmart, as you can see. We're going to click on receipts. You can also see on that first screen that we were on that I got my walk-in kits, guys. I got those as soon as I pulled in and went into my Shopkick app, okay? So once you get under receipts, then you're going to scroll to your offer until you see your offer. And I ended up getting this one right here, which is the country time, it's 500 kicks. I'm gonna select that. Once I select that, it says claim 500 click, 500 kicks. So kick, click on claim 500 kicks. And then we're gonna scan the receipt. Now, you guys can see that my camera is doing this weird thing. It's not my camera, but my phone camera. This happens to me all the time when I'm trying to submit for Shopkick. So if this happens to you where it just like blurs out the screen, you can't even really get a good picture of the receipt, you'll probably have to stop and exit out of the app and go back so I'm back so I got the camera to work I literally had to exit out of the app completely and then go back in so once you get to the screen you're just trying to get these items within that um, you're just taking a picture of the receipt guys honestly you're just trying to get everything in there and I'm like super shaky I don't know if anyone else has a super shaky hand like myself but I typically just click on it okay so it got it it's a little shaky or a little blurry but it'll be okay and then I'm just going to click on the submit button, which on my phone is all the way at the end of the corner, right here. Click on submit. Did it take it, y'all? There we go. And then it says uploading your receipt and your kicks are coming. So once that you get this, you know that you've submitted this receipt correctly and you're all good to go. Click on got it and then you should get your kicks. You know, I've noticed that if I submit them while I'm near a Walmart, because my phone does not show all of my offers unless I'm within the vicinity of the actual location that I'm looking to get offers from. Um, it does it a lot faster, like within 24 to 48 hours versus if I do it at home, if it lets me, then if my, all of my offers are showing up, it takes days, maybe even like a week or two. So if you're having issues with submitting your receipts and receiving your credits, then we're going to walk you through the steps of what you need to do to contact customer service or send them an email so you can get your credits credited back to you. But that is how you submit an offer. All right. Yeah. Tamika rolling up this chip bag. I, did I literally was, was like, I'm going to record this and Sorry. she rolls the chip bag up. <laughs> I did not okay, know. So listen, y'all, y'all just see me submit this ticket in the Walmart parking lot. I already got my shop kicks from that. So I don't know if there's something to being in the zone in the area of the GPS. It must be. Because when I started doing this, because it's the only way I can do it, because my um, offers disappear when I leave the parking lot. So like I said, if yo is one of them people where your offers disappear when you leave the parking lot, do it in the parking lot. You get it a lot faster. I believe she is right about that because so, mine always say 48 hours. I ain't never yeah, had nothing. So this instant. was almost instant. So, I mean, it was like five minutes. So just kind of keep that in mind, y'all. Right, y'all. Okay. Now we into the Shopkick app. Yeah. So okay, this guys. is how you redeem. All right. So you're going to hit this uh, point value right here. Boom, in the middle. At the tip top. Now, I hope I know because y'all, Cindy got an iPhone and I got an Android. It's this is how same, we do. It's the same process. Okay. So you're going to hit reward options. Yeah. And bam. It shows you everything that it can be redeemed for right here, guys. Yeah. Super easy, and you can use these right instantly in it store. Says it's on the cart, but that cart don't take but 30 seconds. It don't take but 30 seconds. Yeah. It literally say processing your thing, and it squirt out a little thing. Bam. Like, and bam, it just be done. There you go. And that's all you have to do, guys. I don't want to redeem one. I wait till I'm up to enough to get a $25 gift card. Yeah. But you just click on this bad boy, and then it gives you the options of what you want to redeem. it tells you what you need to do to get that if you ain't there. And go yep. ahead, and if you need that $5, there you go. Boom. And then you just do redeem yep. kicks. And then guess what? It pops up here. Let me go back and show you where it pops up back it back it on back it on up back it on back it on. okay wait could you make a quick click change gift card did i just redeem one by no accident? you didn't just click that oh i okay. got it okay wait we gotta go back hold on y'all we trying y'all wanted these videos here's my reward so this is where it shows up is in your my rewards mm -hmm. like this one's already been redeemed you can see yeah it don't say that it's redeemed but it has been redeemed you can, all, you can take mm -hmm. it out yourself you so. can so that's how you do that super simple don't overthink it, okay, y'all?
Okay guys, so this is going to be our transaction to show you just how we can, how we submit to Ibotta when we're submitting to Ibotta and how we check rebates to make sure that they're matching. Okay guys, so we're at Harris Teeter doing this deal and they have a promotion going on. So we're picking up some of these Kraft Macaroni and Cheese, these um, Colliders. Mm -hmm. What else has a rebate? Oh, and the oh. Breakstone Cottage Cheese. Yeah. So these Cottage Doubles, I said Breakstone Cottage Cheese, has Ibotta rebates. Mm -hmm. So. Tamika's gonna scan it in the app and then we're just, I'm just gonna record her scanning that so you so, guys can see when you go into the app, we're yeah. going under Harris Teeter. First go under Harris Teeter, then you're gonna click on the thing. Then you're gonna hit the scan button, guys. And I'm gonna scan it in. That's let me know that I have two rebates attaching to this product. That's how you do that. Then you yeah. know, that's it. And I suggest that you scan everything before you leave the store. Always. That way when you go in the car to put your receipt in, it's gonna, uh, gonna be already clipped for you. Yes. That's how you lose money if you don't go ahead and scan it while you're standing Yes, there, scan it and clip it because yep. those expiring offers mm -hmm. stay in, in your um, offers for yep. that store, yep. even, even when they're gone off the regular main page. Oh, yeah. So definitely. that's one of the ways that you can do that, but we'll show you how you submit the receipt and all that jazz All right. once we check out. Okay, guys. Alright, y'all stay okay, tuned. Okay, guys, so we are back. We're about to submit to make his receipt. We're just gonna walk you through how we submit the receipt. Okay, so here's the receipt, guys. I yep. covered up my personal information. Okay, so I'm on now about app. I just hit upload receipt. I'm gonna take pictures. Oh, mm, sorry. We're gonna take the pictures. Alright. I'm gonna take the pictures, even though my screen's a little blurry. But anyway, I do suggest if you can't, if your screen's a little blurry, cut that flashlight on. Yeah, that helps. we like to cut the flashlights on. If long as we can, we do that. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna submit the receipt, then we're gonna show you what it looks like once it's been confirmed, okay? Okay, I said, see, I can't talk. The receipt is submitted. So I gave my three offers. I don't know, this baby food, I don't know, y'all. We don't know what it's no. to do. But it's, it probably won't go through, but I did get my kind bars and I did get my 10 cents. So I'm gonna hit the collect button. And that'll probably change by 10 cent and be 160 because sometimes it attaches to things that even if they're not in the receipt. Yeah. And it'll say it'll be 48 hours. Usually with Harris Teeter, it's less it's than a day. It's almost instant. Yeah. yeah. So. And that's and it. And that is it, guys. And that, you should have it in your, you know, It'll be mouth. in the thing. And if it, guys, if it has to pin, it'll show you that it's pending mm -hmm. in your, um, in your, account, not your account information, but it's like the, is it the redeem section? Somewhere, I can't even remember where it's at Sometimes in here. it's on the home screen. Yeah, sometimes it's on the home screen. Or it'll be where you can see your money balance and stuff like that. It'll say pending and it'll show you how much it is actually yeah, going to pin. I'm trying to go over For there. that full 48 hours because that's what it do. My you know, these phones have like, a whole mind of their yeah, own. Yeah, my phone phones. is, y'all, our phone is extra that's loaded. where you'll see it if mm -hmm. it is pending. If not, it'll typically go straight through if that makes any sense, y'all. Yeah. Hopefully it does. Cause and then if it's pending, pending, usually I circle. That's, it does have with Walmart as well. Yeah. But the, the difference, okay, so I already got it. So yeah. the difference is, is that with Walmart, um, if it says pending, I usually refresh my screen a couple, screen, 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 screen a couple times, guys, and then it'll just pop right back up. Yeah. Walmart so, is usually instant. So. Instant. That's why we love it. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. All, All right. right. Now I'm just going to let y'all know, we don't never do nothing with PayPal on this thing. All we do Straight is PayPal. Cash. Straight up PayPal. Unless it's tripping. One time, Cindy did do a gift card because it was tripping. It was, just, and okay. I will never do it again. So this is what I'm going to say. Ibotta is saying that it's going to be three to five business days right now. It's not. It's All live. for PayPal. It's it, live. It's, it's it just want to disencourage you. It's instant. It used yes. to say it was instant, but now it's saying three to five days. It's not That's true. That's because they want you to connect your bank account um, for that. And, you know, they're doing straight deposits to the bank account now, yeah. too. I but don't guys, do that. We don't do that. We do PayPal. Yeah, straight okay. up PayPal. Straight up PayPal. So, you to make it, you know how to do this on my phone. So, you're going to hit redeem. Nope, you're not. Nope, you I'm click on account. Click on account. Nope, home. Wait, okay, account. okay. Boop, just like So, here. Cindy got $35. She can withdraw her earnings. We're not going to push that button. We can. You, it don't matter. It don't do it like it does on mine. Okay. So, you so click withdraw earnings. Minimum, see, see that? Three to five? It's not true. It's not going to be three to five days, it's guys. Gift cards are instant. They're pushing gift cards, but you can go ahead and do that three to five. Yes. It's going to be and then it'll And then it'll send you, and then mm -hmm. you're all good to go. Or you can do a gift card here or add your bank account. Either and you way. can see that a PayPal bank account is an option. So, you know, you just kind of have to do what works for you guys. But that's how you redeem. Okay, guys. So, we just remember we ain't show y'all how to submit a ticket and y'all don't mind that little red light that's my camera because we're showing you from the phone recording with the camera okay so listen you need to go to account mm -hmm. well i don't know did i have to hit it to me you did it's circling no i didn't go back push the back button yeah. okay hit the account button boom okay so you go to account then we got to scroll down to the bottom where it says help. help click on the help button guys when you click on the help 
it should already be te technically like signed into your account. Mm -hmm. You're going to click on, click on, I said click on. On the hamburger. Oh, Jesus. Click on the submit request button. No, to make, yes, submit request. Boom. Just like this. And then at this point, you put all your information. Now with Ibotta, what I've learned, y'all, you're going to have to take your screenshots and do barcodes with Ibotta. They have literally denied some of my stuff before because I only took a picture of the item and not the picture of the barcode. So just, I would do pictures of the barcode and that should be sufficient as well as submitting a picture of your receipt. Yeah, the basic of this video is that screenshots is important. Okay. Screenshots are important. They're very important. Especially pictures. with these rebate apps, because you know mm -hmm. that the the um, rebates disappear and come back and count down and all that stuff. Because you know we'd be out here collecting coins. That's so you it. just submit it, guys, and then they'll respond back. Check your emails. All of these things link back to your emails. Make sure mm -hmm. that you check your spam. A lot yep. of stuff goes in spam. Into the spam. Too. Absolutely, okay? and that's how you submit a request to correct your offers. All, all right. right. So we're about to pick up the Swag Bucks offer on the Werther's Originals. As you can see, you get $3 in Swag Bucks when you purchase two of the sugar-free caramels. And here are two of the sugar-free, well, here are the sugar-free Werther's. They're $1.48. So what you're going to do to redeem this offer. So before picking up, I like to go ahead and add these offers. So you can see that it says added. Now I'm going to check the details of this offer. This is the offer in Swag Bucks. So as you can see, the Edgital products are right there in the mini flip top box is one of those offers so that's why we're going to pick these up and then you can also see here where the um, offers are eligible so this is where you check to see what locations you can do this offer and they'll accept it walmart is on that list and typically walmart is the first one if it's actually available at that location is what i've noticed so we're going to go ahead and pick up two of these we're going to make the purchase and then we'll be right back showing you how to submit your receipts all right y'all Let's pick this on up. All right, guys, so here's the next thing. We're using the same receipt, but this is the Swag Bucks offer. I actually ended up doing two offers while I was in the store. So I'm going to be submitting my Swag Bucks for the Werther's Original and for the Armor All somewhere on here, guys. I picked up the Armor All so I can complete my Ibotta bonus. So let me show you how to do this. So both of the offers have been added because I showed you how to add those to the list. So you can see right here it says my list. I have six offers clipped all together. So what I'm going to do is click on submit receipt. When you click on the submit receipt portion, this tells you what is eligible that you can submit receipts for that you've added to your offers. So what you're going to do is click on submit receipt and then we're clicking on shopped in store. So paper receipt and then we're selecting the retailer. Okay, because it's going to tell you next what you're eligible to submit. So we're clicking on Walmart. Once we click on Walmart, it shows you what I'm eligible to submit for. So I have the any item for two swag bucks. I'm going to clip that. I'm going to click the ceramic shield, armor all rebate, and then the Werther's original, and then click next. Next is the upload. So the key with uploading receipts when it comes to swag buck guys is really not, it does not have the same functionality to really catch rebates if you do two separate um pictures for your receipt so i would always advise if you're doing a swag bucks offer or tada or inbox dollars or anything that's using magic receipts try to get all of your offers like this one on one receipt where you can get it all in one picture okay so we're going to click on upload and then we're going to do take photo now guys when i do my photos it depends on how the lighting is but we're just going to try to get a really good close picture here okay so that one looks pretty good so i'm going to use this one so let me click on use photo Alrighty, and then you see here it says does your photo contain everything it needs yes it does so then we're going to click next this is when the magic happens this is where the anxiety hits guys because you're really hoping that the bunny pops out with the hat and everything's fine but if it's not then we're going to show you precisely what we're going to do okay so i actually got credit for all of my offers but it only picked up one of my um, Extreme Shield, so I'm going to have to submit a ticket for that. So that's perfectly fine, so I can kind of show you guys what I'm going to have to do to get the other remaining $13 for this offer, okay? So, um, but I also got my Werther, so that went through fine, and my any receipt. So I'm just going to click on, let's see, let me click on done, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you guys how you submit a ticket and contact them so you can get the rest of your money. Okay, y'all? Just stay tuned. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Okay, now listen. We in so bucks. I'm gonna talk Inside about this because I'm sitting gonna talk about swag bucks, but I'm just telling you right now, I like to die better. Now this is why. So this is um, swag bucks. It says seven hundred. 
I don't even know what that it's means. It's just say 700. It yeah. reminds me of other apps. So what does that mean? So go ahead with this Tada and you got $7. $7. So it tells you your And balance, it says the same thing as Swagbucks. does. But I like to die better. Yes. Just granted, it might not get all the offers they get over here. Yes, yeah, sometimes so. the offers are not the same. No. So you just got to check both of them just mm -hmm. to see what's eligible in each app. Yeah. But it is. And you can even say, you see how Tamika says 700 SB? That's what it said. Yes. So, and so, and then it's, because hers is connected. For some reason, else, my Android connected both of my accounts. It's because she used the same email address is mm -hmm. probably why. So yeah. people ask all the time, can I use the same email address in Tada or can I use the same email address in Swagbucks? If you do, it's going to leak your accounts because yeah. they're all the same. Mine are linked. So just know that because Tamika's are linked mm -hmm. okay so I'm about to show y'all how you can correct the receipt because you know when I submitted my Worthers I did not get my not my Worthers the um Under Armour whatever Under Armour Armour all offer okay we also do a sports yes, apparel <laughs> I did not get all my coins so I'm gonna show you how you do this so you need to go where do I need to go okay three lines gotta, in it no lines. is it yes three lines mm -hmm. so we go into the hamburger when you go to the hamburger you're gonna click on see recent activities is that what it's called a hamburger yes the three lines I don't know about this okay, okay guys you can see here where it says magic receipt 700 y'all you know I'm looking for that $20 so drop this sucker down you I just clicked on that little arrow that was pointing this way is now pointing up you scroll down and you see that thing that say contact customer support go hit that you gonna hit the if it'll let me hit it to me because it gonna let me hit it see I don't there know there you go okay <laughs> so you click on contact customer support guys and then you can abide by these rules but honestly if I don't get my money um I just send them a message and also if it does not work and you don't get your money take it back that's how big just positive. take it back take it back yes so just mm -hmm. click on contact us y'all and then you can uh do the date that you purchased yep. it attach Upload your images and put your comments, and then you're all good to go, and then you submit. Guys, it's really just that simple. And like Tamika said, Yo, just take it back take if it you back. don't get the money, or if they won't give you your money, just keep your receipts and take, take it, it back. back. There we go. All right. It's that simple. Okay. okay. So we're trying to show you how you can redeem on swag bucks. This would be Tada or Inbox Dollars or My Points Same and thing. all of those, okay? So you're going to go click on Redeem SB. So you're going to, to get here, you need to click on the hamburger that we just talked about, and then click on Redeem S B. This will load what's available. Now, mm -hmm. most of the time, it's just gift cards, guys. But I did find out today when we were doing this video that they have a PayPal cash offer. And the PayPal cash basically means that you can link it and get the PayPal, the money deposited into your PayPal account. Yes. Okay. But, there's but catch. there are a, there is a catch. Mm -hmm. And so basically what has to happen is your first name and last name has to be the same on your Swagbucks account and on your PayPal account. Your email address that you use for Swagbucks has to be mm -hmm. the exact same email address that you use for PayPal. And then also you have to have a bank account linked. And I'm going to put this stuff a up real so bank a account. real bank account linked yeah. to your PayPal that mm -hmm. has a checking and routing in order to get this. Yeah, that, but those are their be, stipulations. It, it is stipulation because it's yes. got to be a real one. It can't be certain ones because some people just have card bank accounts. Yes. It's got it to be a real bank. Yes. Yeah. So, um, so we're going to, I'm going to show you that step by step. I'm going to show you the little, um, what they said on the Swagbucks website and that'll be up right now as we're talking and you guys can follow those prompts, but this is where you redeem guys. And it does take a, well, it took mine a few days to go through to make mm -hmm. redeemed on what my redeemed like two days later. It yes. really depends, but you got to check depend. your email because a lot of times it goes in spam. So just so y'all know that check your spam for yes. The offer, because I couldn't find mine for yes. like a week or two, and it had already been there two days ago. Absolutely. So, and when they send it to you, it's kind of like, you got to go into the email. Mine made me go into the do email. do a code. And you have to enter a code, mm -hmm. and it's a little bit of a process. So just be patient, work through it, and you'll figure it out, guys. I promise. Like, yeah, I it's it. just been a lot going Yeah, we've had a long day. So anyway. Y'all don't even understand. Y'all do. Check out the community post, please. Okay, so, community tab. Please check out the community tab. Check and just out. make sure, just, just go run to the community tab and read the post. Okay. Most recent post at that. Please. Whew. Okay, guys. So we hope we done a good job letting you know how these things work out, how yes, those go. Um, any questions, like we said in the intro, Put them down below. Yes. And we will get to them. Now, if you know the answer before we do, or you know something better than we do, y'all, we ain't not experts. Yes. Put on in that damn yes. community tab. Yes. Go put it in the community, not the community tab. Put it in the description, by, uh, in the comment in the section yeah, down below. Where I'm going. Um, y'all, yeah, I'm tired. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's all you got to do. Do that. So, if you like this video, please like, share, 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 and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Y'all, we almost said that. Oh, we're like less than 100 away. Let's get it done. Let's Give do it time. All, all right, right y'all. Bye. Bye.